hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix this error that is hardware not supported for volumetric material so if you're receiving this error message with city skylines 2 game on your windows computer then please follow the steps shown in this video now the first step is to make sure your computer and graphic card is uh, supported to play the game so make sure that you have the minimum system requirement so the processor is this and here you can see the minimum graphic card requirement is nvidia ge force gtx 970 or above amd redon or x480 so make sure that your computer meets the minimum system requirement to play the game because if your graphic card is not supported then you will receive this error message now for many users making changes in the config file has worked so for this you can open file explorer you can try the second step open file explorer go to this pc open c drive now open the users folder now open your username folder over here and then open app data folder now if you don't see app data on the top click on view and then select show and then put a check on hidden items and then you should be able to see app data now if you have windows 10 somewhere over here you will find the view option when you click on view then somewhere over here you will find hidden items box so put a check on hidden items and you should be able to see app data folder open app data folder now open local low folder and over here you can see colossal order folder open this folder now open cities skylines 2 folder now over here you will find settings or settings.coc file over here so make a right click and then click on open with and then select notepad now once you select notepad now before you make any changes in the config file over here um, first create a backup so you can copy this file make a right click and then copy this file and then you can save it to the desktop you can create a backup you can save it wherever you want so create a backup so once you have the backup for this file so once you have the backup after making changes if something wrong happens you can always copy and paste this file back to the original path so after making changes if this issue is not resolved you can copy this file from the desktop and then paste it on the same location over here so now to make changes one you once you have the backup over here over here now open this settings make a right click open with and then open with notepad and now you can copy all these entries these entries will actually lower down your graphics settings uh, for the game so, so you can copy these settings so these entries are provided in the video description so you can copy it from the video description you can scroll down and you can copy till till here so till here you can copy it now once you copy it go to the settings.coc file and then you can paste you can select everything control a and then control v paste it now once you paste it over here now click on file and then click on save now once you save it now you can launch the game and you should not receive this error now after making changes like you can make a right click on the settings.coc file and then select properties and then under general here you can see read only put a check on read only apply click on ok and then again make a uh, now try to launch the game and you should not receive the error message now after making the changes over here after putting all these entry still you are facing the problem and if you want to get rid of it you can just delete this and then you can you can copy this you can delete that and then after delete launch the game if that does not work you can copy the original file you can copy it and paste it over here so this will get back your original settings now this has worked for many players so it might work for you so try this uh, you, this has worked for many players so you can try this now the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card over here so make sure that you select your graphic card over here select your series then select your graphic card and then 
select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on start search and then scroll down and right now the latest graphic card driver is 545.84 so you can click on get download and then click on download now and once the download is complete run this exe file now once you run this exe file click on ok and then click on yes to allow and then you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation so click on next and let the installation complete after the clean installation restart your computer and then launch the game now the last step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for laptop users will with dual graphic card make sure that you run the game on dedicated graphic card for this type of graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings now click on browse over here and then go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed if the game is installed in c drive open c drive program files x86 now open the steam folder steam apps folder now open the common folder now open the game folder and then select the game exe file over here and then click on add once the game is added over here click on options select high performance now click on save now launch the game and then check now also verify the game file so make a right click on the game select properties go to the install files and then click on verify integrity of game files after the verification launch the game also update your windows to the latest version so open windows settings go to windows update or update in security and then click on check for update once you have all the updates installed then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix this error so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel